we have the president of the Gujarat, Gujarat Pradesh Congress Committee, Shakti Singh Goel ji, Vineet Punia ji, and friends of the media, thank you for coming here to the AICC headquarters for this press conference, which has been called on a sh short notice. I would just uh, say a few points in English, and I would add to what uh, sh my senior colleague Shakti Singh Goel ji has said. If you look at the actions of the BJP inside the parliament over the last few days, it is clear that the prime minister is afraid of speaking inside parliament. He is scared to debate the issue inside parliament. We have heard the ministers of the ruling party saying that they are ready for a discussion. We have said we are ready for a discussion. The only person who has not said anything inside parliament, the only person who has not been seen inside the parliament is the Honorable Prime Minister of India. So it is absolutely clear that the Prime Minister has no intention of raising the issue of Manipur inside the parliament. Now what could that reason be? He will only know better. Is it because of the gross mismanagement of his central government and the state government? Is it the guilt that he has failed the people of Manipur? Or is it that he simply has no answers as to why he is allowing the chief minister of Manipur and Biren Singh to continue in his position? He has absolutely no answers. And that's why, as Shakti Singh Ji said, at the beginning of parliament, he said a few words to the media outside the parliament. And that's it. He has no more to say. Why is the prime minister so unwilling, so afraid to speak inside the parliament? He can go to the US and address a joint session of American policymakers in the US Congress or their version of parliament, but he cannot speak inside our nation's parliament. He can go to France and hug Macron, but he cannot go to Manipur and hug the victims of rape, hug the victims who have lost a family member. So it is absolutely clear, and especially from the statement today made by the Union Home Minister, that the BJP are are shielding the Prime Minister from speaking inside Parliament. They just want a symbolic discussion. They want to treat the Manipur as an ordinary law and order issue. And they want to have a regular discussion under 193 or under a separate rule in, in the Rajya Sabha where the chairman or the speaker can curtail the time. And instead of having a broad-based discussion, instead of we, the people of India, asking the Prime Minister as to why has he not visited Manipur, as to why he is allowing this government to continue, we will not be allowed to raise these questions to the Prime Minister or hear his answers. So, not only the opposition parties, People of Manipur are protesting on the streets of Delhi. The daughters of Manipur, the daughters of India are protesting across the streets of Delhi, across the streets of major cities in India. They are saying, where is the Prime Minister? Daughters of India and daughters of Manipur are asking, why is the Prime Minister silent? At least to them, the Prime Minister should give some iota of respect and speak to their concerns inside parliament. 
Prime Minister has not even the courtesy to meet his own party MLAs from Manipur. Before leaving for the US, his MLAs were camping in Delhi, wanting to raise the issue, but Prime Minister had no time for them. So is it a cold-hearted calculation, as Shakti Singh Ji said, that his heart must be made of stone? Because otherwise, how can one show his back to the people of Manipur? He has simply shown his back. This is the activist policy of BJP. Prime Minister says that nobody else has visited the Northeast as many times as I have visited. The BJP keep clap, clapping themselves. And now when the Northeast needs him, he is nowhere to be found, nowhere to be seen. The role of a Prime Minister, the role of a leader, is to show personal leadership in a time of crisis, is to show a form of political outreach. There is no outreach, no leadership. He has outsourced everything to his BJP cabinet and BJP chief ministers who are acting as bouncers. Like the way you cannot address a celebrity, these bouncers of the BJP, the chief ministers and cabinet ministers, are shielding the prime minister from being from tough questions. The Prime Minister thinks that he's above the Parliament of India. He need not come. It's been three days. He need not come inside Parliament and make a so motor statement. The Prime Minister can change Chief Ministers in election-going states. He changed the Chief Minister in Gujarat. He replaced the Chief Ministers of Uttarakhand and Tripura because of electoral and political concerns. But for some reason, he is continuing to back the decisions of the Chief Minister of Manipur. Election ke liye Uttarakhand, Gujarat, Tripura mein Mukhya Mantri badle jate hain. Lekin yaha pe jab Manipur mein do mahino se hinsa ho raha hai, jaha pe swaya Mukhya Mantri bolte hain ki aise saw FIR hain, jaha par mahilaon par atyachar hua hai, un par vishwas rakte hain desh ke Pradhan Mantri. To humari maang spast hai, the Prime Minister should speak inside Parliament. We want a substantive debate, an exhaustive debate, and that is where we are saying that debate this under Rule 184 in Lok Sabha and under Rule 267 in Rajya Sabha because this is an exhaustive, substantive debate on a substantive issue where if the need be, there might be a vote. The BJP is running away. The Prime Minister is running away. It is obvious that the Prime Minister is too scared to speak inside Parliament. He is afraid of the scrutiny from the members of the opposition parties.